today. We're back in Koa. It's been five months since we dug those rows and planted all this in between. Um, this mulberry has been there before. And so I just want to share, um, you know, what's been happening and the good parts, the bad parts, what has worked, what didn't work. So first of all, I'm, I'm pretty thrilled that it, it, it looks pretty lush, especially this part. So this is the oldest part and the taro has been amazing and all like all of the fruit trees that have been there before and have been struggling for five years like those all those fruit trees are five years old and have been str struggling all of them are doing really well they've all got new growth so that's 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 really cool and um yeah so with those parts um they, they, they have been put in later and they haven't been as successful and at this point I don't fully know why it could be because the water although we watered all of them the same there's just more better soil and better like water supply from from the from the swale down there but I actually do not know um, so yeah maybe maybe I want to show can we maybe show some new on this, on this, on this um, pomegranate, and the eucalyptus are doing really well, and uh, all the taro and galangal and ginger and turmeric and uh, cassavas, and um, so. What didn't go well. Well, first of all, I should maybe say that we did, we did water this. That's the only thing we did, and I think she definitely did water this a couple times a week. So that's not something I want to do in the future. But this is what she wanted to do. So that's that's what's happening. So major things that didn't work because I have a plan of all the things we planted is that most of the beans and corns that we planted did not survive, as well as the nitrogen fixes, the curtilaria, and the pigeon pea that we also see an extra row here, they came up very sparsely, like very sparsely. But instead, those papayas came up a lot. And we also have got a lot of jackfruits that have been coming up from the, from the fruit straps that are doing really well. So, um, yeah, I don't know, we don't know at this point why the, the biomass line and all those pigeon peas, all those nitrogen fixes did not come up. Um, there's a, there one that came, is that's there in the, in that row that has been designed by someone else. But um, yeah, maybe we'll just have a, a quick run through to just having a look at all this. Uh, the Japutaba is doing really well. Uh, all the bananas are doing quite well. There's a lot of also here. You can see the those jackfruit and some more there because we you know we had a lot of food scraps that we that we left more jackfruit there actually lots of jackfruit and um, yeah and the eucalypt is doing well and so I like how dense it is um, but I do would like to have some more some more diversity Arrows, they're just like this is five months. This is just stunning to me. Well, I never planted tarot before. Um, so, this is the protelaria that I was hoping would come much more. The nitrogen fixer, it's I have found out it's not a native, this protelaria, but some like now I'm looking for the native one. But I wish there would have been met many more. But this macadamia is doing much better than before. So, um, yeah. that's it for now. <laughs>